In this video, I'm going to share 25 ways that you can save time using ChatGPT. This video will be beginner friendly and show practical use cases that you can apply today in order to speed up the timely or mundane tasks so that you have time to do the more important things in life, whether that be hanging out with family, working on a side hustle, or anything that requires more of your time and attention. Now let's get into the video. Use case number one is to use ChatGPT in order to help with complex event planning, whether that be weddings, conferences, or big events that will require a lot of planning and a lot of attention. Let's say I'm in charge of creating a three-day agenda of a corporate event with over 200 different attendees. There's a lot of things that can come into play here from transition times to different breakouts, dinners, activities. So let's have ChatGPT help us plan a complex event. Take a look at the information I provided ChatGPT and let's watch how it generates this three-day agenda. I ask it, can you provide a sample three-day agenda for a corporate event for 200 attendees, two keynotes, 15 breakouts, a gala dinner, and team building activities. Make sure to schedule sufficient breaks and transition times. Now this is a pretty basic prompt, but when we send it off, you'll see that the response is very nice and it takes a lot of the planning and stress of organizing this event off of my shoulders. As you can see, it gives me a three day schedule with times included. So 8 a.m. to 9 a.m. we have registration and networking breakfast. And as you go down the list, you can see all of the events planned out in a nice timely manner. And this is just a foundation of the event. So now I can take some ideas from this. I can implement some niche things that might be going on in the event into the schedule. And all I have to do now is just copy and paste this three day schedule into whatever I'm using to plan the event. And we have it just like that in a matter of 15 seconds, all generated for us. Time saving use case number two is to generate meal plans and recipes based on ingredients you already have. Let's say you're having some people over and you can't decide on a recipe for dinner. What you could do is you could tell ChatGPT some items you have available in your house, and you could tell it to create you a unique recipe using those ingredients. Take a look at the prompt I created. Create me a unique dinner that involves shrimp, pasta, and potatoes. Include the recipe instructions and have the measurements be for six people. When I send it off, ChatGPT will make a unique dish and have all of the ingredients I need, as well as the instructions in order to cook that food for my proper serving size. So I needed it for six people. So it's making all of the ingredients and measurements available so that six people will be able to eat this dish. ChatGPT is great at creating meal plans and providing you instructions. And you can really start to customize what you're eating in ChatGPT by telling it to exclude certain foods or to add certain foods. Maybe you're vegetarian and you want a vegetarian option to go with this. You can tell that to ChatGPT and it will create that at your request. This is a huge time saver so you don't have to spend time Googling or thinking about what to eat. You can let ChatGPT decide. Time saving use case number three is to create to-do list and prioritize the tasks within the to-do list. So ChatGPT can do this all for you. All you need to do is type in what you're doing that day and what you have to do. And ChatGPT will give an estimated time for how long it takes and a good order to do and complete those tasks in. Let me show you an example. Let's say you have a very busy day with a lot to do. You could tell ChatGPT all that's going on like shown. I have a busy day ahead of me and I need to make a to-do list. I need to finish a presentation for work, call the bank, schedule a doctor's appointment, pick up groceries and do laundry. Can you please create a prioritized to-do list for me with these tasks organized by importance and time estimates for each? I'm going to send it off. And it gives us a nice to-do list for the day with different priority levels. So finish a presentation for work. That priority is obviously high. It tells us that it will take anywhere from two to four hours based on how much we have left. So it tells us we need to start our day with this task, ensuring we are working on it when our mind is fresh. It tells us next we should call the bank and that this could take up to 30 minutes. It's just allowing us enough time to get in contact with the bank. Maybe we're going to be put on hold. It is taking all of these things into account and it's labeling it priority high. Then we go on to the priority medium tasks, which are schedule a doctor's appointment and pick up groceries. It tells us we can start a laundry load before picking up groceries and then transition it to the dryer when we return. So even if we don't exactly follow the schedule, we now have it laid out in a nice format for us with different priority levels. It's a good foundation for getting started with the day's tasks. ChatGPT use case number four is to summarize long articles, papers, or documents in ChatGPT. 
So maybe you have a long article you don't feel like reading, somebody sent you something, and you just want to get the main key points and summarize everything. Well, you can do that with one single prompt. Let's take this article on cryptocurrency on Investopedia for an example. As you can see, we have this big, long article on cryptocurrency. And what I've done is I've highlighted this entire article. And now I can select copy or hit control C, head over to ChatGPT, and I'm going to put this on ChatGPT4 so it can take in a little bit more information. Now I'm going to paste in that article. And as you can see, we have this very long sheet of information within ChatGPT. Up top, I can hold shift and enter down so it doesn't send off the prompt. And I can say, summarize this article and give me the key points. And then I'll put a colon. And now when I send it off, ChatGPT will give us a nice summary of this article. And it breaks this entire article down into eight points that we will be able to remember easier rather than reading this long text of information. Time-saving use case number five is to draft professional emails or other forms of communication within ChatGPT. Let me show you what I'm talking about. What I have here is a prompt that says, draft an email to my boss, Carter. In this email, tell him I am excited to meet with him to discuss company financials, make him feel like I am excited for this meeting and that I have been working hard so that he can feel relieved that I am doing my job correctly. So ChatGPT can really invoke feelings through an email or other forms of writing. And when you just talk to it like a human and tell it exactly how you want the reader to feel, usually it does a pretty good job at drafting an email or other forms of written content accordingly. Now, if you wanna learn how to draft really good emails in ChatGPT, I have a full video on it. You can watch it in the upper right-hand corner. But let's send this off and see how ChatGPT does with this basic prompt. And I'm not going to read this email, but if you want to, you can pause and see how good of a job ChatGPT does at coming up with this email in a matter of 15 to 20 seconds. It even gives us a nice little spot where we can put our name at the bottom of the email it lays it out in that email format, and overall, this is just a very professional and well-written message. It's ready to send over to my boss. Time-saving use case number six is to consider purchasing my ChatGPT mastery course and getting involved in the community. In this course, I go over advanced problem-solving paradigms in order to help you solve complex problems, and I really show you the ins and outs of using a large language model like ChatGPT from start to finish. From typing in your first prompt to multi-step commands and questions, this course covers a wide variety of ChatGPT topics. And not only are you getting the course with this purchase, but you're also getting access to a community of innovators of the future, people who are using ChatGPT in order to better their personal and work lives, as well as people who are becoming prepared for the future of what's to come with AI. If you'd like to learn more about this course, you can use the link in the top pinned comment or the description below. That way you can better understand what the course and community will actually help you with. Time-saving use case number seven is to generate creative ideas for dates, vacations, or gifts. Now, when it comes down to gifts, you could ask ChatGPT something like this. Can you suggest some unique gift ideas for my partner who loves hiking and camping. You can add as much personalized information if you want. You can add their age, you can add other activities they like, and that will help ChatGPT better understand and generate ideas for that specific person. But for now, we'll leave it simple. And when we throw this off, ChatGPT will give us a list of different unique gift ideas for our partner. And if you don't like what you see, you can even say, give me 10 more. And ChatGPT will list out 10 more different gifts that you could potentially give, whether that's for a birthday or Christmas or whatever it may be. Now, let's say you wanna go on a date and you don't really know the area too well. Let's say you go to visit Chicago. You could also ask ChatGPT date ideas and recommendations. In this example, I say, can you provide me some fun and unique date night ideas for me and my spouse on a $150 budget in the city of Chicago? When I send it off, ChatGPT will do a good job at listing everything Chicago has to offer for that $150 budget. And it gives a nice wide variety of different ideas that we could potentially use or go to. So as you can see, it ranges from picnics to boat tours. We have some stargazing activities in the planetarium, explore Chinatown, cooking class. So there's all sorts of different ideas that ChatGPT keeps within our $150 budget. And again, we can keep on providing more information depending on what we want. We can do the same thing for vacations or trips as well. 
As you can see down here, I say, we want to take a family vacation this year that is adventurous, but also relaxing for under $2,000 total. Can you suggest a vacation destination and itinerary that fits? When I send that off, ChatGPT will do a wonderful job at giving me different recommendations. So as you can see, it gives us the destination of Costa Rica. It gives us day one to three, day four to six, day seven. It gives us a nice budget breakdown, and it also gives us some tips for saving money. Time saving use case number eight is to use ChatGPT in order to proofread your writing and provide grammar or spelling corrections along the way. So let's take this prompt for example. Please proofread this short text for me and make any necessary corrections for grammar, spelling, punctuation, and overall clarity. As you can see, I have punctuation mistakes like not capitalizing the I, spelling assistant wrong, and also not providing proper punctuation on the conjunction I am. So when I send this off, ChatGPT will do a nice job at proofreading this and changing it around so that it has proper grammar and spelling. As you can see, it fixes the mistakes, fixes the spelling error, and it does a very good job at doing this. So if you have a long paragraph or essay of text, then you can pop it in ChatGPT and it will provide you with a nice revised version that will be ready for publishing or sending off. Time-saving use case number nine is to translate text between different languages. So this can be a tedious task when you're trying to use Google Translate or something like that, but ChatGPT does a wonderful job at translating text between languages. Let me show you an example. In this prompt, I'm telling ChatGPT to please translate this English text into fluent French. And I have this blurb about how I'm going to Paris next month and that I'm very excited. I wanna see the Eiffel Tower. I'm excited to try delicious French food. There's a bunch of different stuff in here that I want translated, so let's see if ChatGPT can do a good job. When I send off the message, as you can see, ChatGPT will write this out in French. And is it fluent? That much I don't know because I can't speak French. But if you do speak French, let me know how ChatGPT did in the comments down below. I've heard that it does a wonderful job, so if you need quick translations between English and another language or another language to English, then this could do a good job. Time-saving use case number 10 is to quickly find key statistics, facts, or figures in ChatGPT. Let's say you're writing a report on electric vehicle adoption within the United States. Take a look at this prompt I've generated in order to find the key statistics for the report that I'm writing. I tell ChatGPT that I'm writing a report on electric vehicle adoption trends in the United States. Then I ask it, can you please provide some key statistics and data points comparing EV sales in 2020 versus 2018. Include figures on total sales, market share percentages, and top selling models if possible. So keep in mind ChatGPT's knowledge is only up to September of 2021 currently, but we can still generate a lot of key information from time before 2021. So I'm going to use that to my advantage here and I'm going to send off this prompt. As you can see, it says my training data only extends up to September of 2021. It reminds us of that. And then it gives us what we actually asked for. So it says in 2018, approximately 361,000 electric vehicles were sold in the US. And it gives us comparisons as well. So from 2018, and then it tells us about what happened in 2020. And it's not only doing it for 2018, but it's also comparing it to 2020, just like we asked. So now we have beautiful comparisons in a matter of 15 seconds. Time-saving use case number 11 is to quickly weigh out the pros and cons in order to help you make a decision faster. Let's say I get an opportunity to take on a new job and I need to weigh out the pros and cons, but it takes a lot of time to write that down. And I just want a nice comprehensive view of the pros and cons of my situation so I can get an idea of what I might want to do for my future. I typed out this prompt. I am deciding between a new job offer or staying at my current job. The new job pays 20% more and has better benefits, but it would require me to move to a new city away from my friends and family. Can you please analyze the pros and cons of taking the new job versus staying in my current role? So we can do this ourselves, or we can get a nice foundation of the pros and cons from ChatGPT very quickly, helping us save a lot of time. I'm going to send that off and ChatGPT is going to start outlining the potential pros and cons of each situation. As you can see, ChatGPT does a wonderful job. It gives us the pros of taking the new job, the cons of taking the new job, the pros of staying at my current job, and also the cons of staying at my current job. This will allow me to make a decision much quicker than if I would have spent the time writing all of this out myself. And of course, every situation is different and ChatGPT doesn't know exactly what's going on in your life, 
but this gives a very nice foundation and some ideas that you may not have thought of when considering a new job or whatever you're trying to weigh out with pros and cons. Time-saving use case number 12 is to use ChatGPT in order to help you brainstorm slogans, business names, YouTube channel names, or whatever it may be. ChatGPT is wonderful when it comes to brainstorming and it can help save you a ton of time. Let's say I create a new brand of coffee and I need help generating a slogan for my new coffee brand. What I could do is I could type in ChatGPT something like this. I need a catchy five word slogan for a new brand of organic fair trade coffee. Now, of course, this can be anything. It doesn't have to be coffee, but you can type out some of the important metrics or values of what you need help with. For example, if you're generating business names, then it might be important to put the nature of your business and other names that you want it to be inspired by, stuff like that. ChatGPT can do a wonderful job. So at the end there, I say, give me 20 examples. And now I can send that message off. And as you can see, it does a wonderful job at providing catchy five word slogans. You can do this with titles, business names, YouTube channel names, whatever it may be. I really like this bottom one, how it uses ours to start every word responsibly roasted, remarkably robust. That is just very memorable and it's an amazing slogan. Time-saving use case number 13 is to automate data entry tasks by converting data into spreadsheets. So this is a very basic example, but for this time-saving technique, what we're going to be doing is using the code interpreter feature within ChatGPT4. Now this can actually create downloadable Excel sheets for us. So if we want to create an Excel sheet by typing in a prompt on what we want the Excel sheet to entail, then we can do that now with ChatGPT's code interpreter. So what I have here though, is let's say I have some information and I do not feel like doing the data entry by myself. What I can say is I can tell ChatGPT to convert this list of names, addresses, and phone numbers into an Excel spreadsheet with columns for name, address, and phone. And then I just list all of the different metrics that I have. So I list the people's names, their phone number, and their address. Now. These addresses and phone numbers and names are all made up. Uh, they don't actually have any value and they're just completely fictional. But what I can do is I can send this off and with Code Interpreter, ChatGPT will actually use code in order to generate us a downloadable Excel sheet that we can then load up. As you can see, it's converted it into an Excel spreadsheet and now we can download this file and open it up in Excel. Now, this is going to be wonderful if you use Excel or Google Sheets for a lot of information. This is just scratching the surface of Code Interpreter. You can tell it to do certain things with the data while it's in here. You can tell it to change certain things about an existing spreadsheet you have. So this saves a ton of time when it comes to data entry. Time-saving technique number 14 is to use ChatGPT in order to give you time management and productivity tips based on your situation. So let's say you struggle with managing your time or procrastination on a certain subject. What you could do is give ChatGPT your problem and it can provide you with methods or techniques in order to help mitigate that problem and to become more productive and manage your time better. As you can see, I have this prompt right here. I struggle with procrastination and have a hard time focusing at work. I waste a lot of time on my phone and social media and have difficulty prioritizing tasks. Can you give me specific tips to help me improve my productivity and time management skills? So you can ask ChatGPT this question right here. Give me specific tips to help me improve my productivity and time management skills. And then based on your situation or your problem up here, it will give you customized techniques based on your problem. So now when I send it off, as you can see, ChatGPT will give its condolences and say, I'm sorry to hear that you're struggling. But then what it does is it goes into giving me tips in order to help doing this. And it doesn't just give me basic tips. It gives me methods that I wouldn't have normally thought of. As you can see, the Pomodoro technique, it's a wonderful technique. 25 minutes on, a short break for five minutes, and then you do certain cycles of that. It tells me to use the Eisenhower box. I'm not sure what these techniques are, but they are very unique and they customize it to my situation smart goals, time blocking, meditation and mindfulness, physical activity, healthy diet and sleep, seek support. So it's giving me all sorts of tips based on my procrastination issue at work. Time-saving use case number 15 is to create checklists for certain events or certain projects. When it comes to launching a product, there is a large list of things that needs to be done in order for a successful product launch. So maybe I wanna go into ChatGPT and ask it something like this. 
I am planning a product launch event for next month. Can you please generate a detailed checklist? So this is the tip, generating a detailed checklist, covering all of the key tasks and preparation items that I would need to do for that event. So ChatGPT can generate these beautiful checklists for you, whether you're packing for a vacation or planning a wedding or any sort of big event, it will help give you that checklist of the main items and things you need to be thinking about. I'm going to send this off to GPT. As you can see, ChatGPT ended up giving us a checklist of 20 different items and the necessary things we need to do in order to complete those items. So we have broad categories, and we have tasks to complete in order to complete those broad categories. As you can see, there are 20 things we need to get done in here for a successful product launch. And if you want to, you can even go a step further and ask ChatGPT how to help with one of those certain checklist items. So let's say you're struggling with staffing, you could have ChatGPT go more in depth on how to determine staffing needs. So as you can see, one of our items we need to complete is to determine staffing needs. So we could ask ChatGPT, what is the best method for determining staffing needs? So we can go more in depth on this and ChatGPT will do that for us. That's why I like doing this stuff in ChatGPT when it comes to event planning, uh, packing, anything that involves a long list of items because if I'm confused on something or I need help, ChatGPT can break it down in a way that I can really understand it. So now it gives us eight more steps in order to help with the staffing section of our event list. Time-saving use case number 16 is to rewrite your passages for improved clarity or concision within ChatGPT. So if you have a long passage of text and you want it to be more clear and more concise, throw it into ChatGPT and it will get the job done for you. So let's say I have this random passage right here. The student was trying to write their term paper that was due at midnight. They had started the assignment very late even though the teacher had assigned it over a month ago. And then this passage continues to go on about how the student waited until the very last minute and it just keeps on giving more pointless information that probably doesn't need to be in there. Let's say we needed this done in a couple of sentences or less and it's just a little too long. What we can ask ChatGPT to do instead of doing this ourselves is to rewrite certain passages for clarity and concision. So this prompt I have here, please rewrite the following passage for greater clarity and concision. We'll take our current passage and make it shorter and more concise. And as you can see, this one up here is four and a half lines long, and this one down here is two and a half lines long, and it gets the exact same point across in a more clear and concise manner. You can do this with your existing text, or you can do it with text that ChatGPT already generates for you. Time-saving use case number 17 is to get personalized recommendations, whether that be on books, movies, or music that's based on what you already like. So maybe you feel like finding other movies that you would like to watch. What you can do is tell ChatGPT the types of movies you like, and it will give you movies that are similar to your taste. And you can do this with music and books as well. So you could type into ChatGPT something like this. I feel like watching a movie tonight, but I don't know what I want to watch. I like these movies. And then you can list out your taste or your recommendations on the specific movie, book, or music that you want to listen to, watch, or read. So as you can see, in this case, I'm doing movies. So I can type in some of the movies that I like. Goodfellas, The Wolf of Wall Street, Nightcrawler, and The Godfather. Let's say I want to watch a similar movie tonight. So what I could do is I could tell ChatGPT to find me 10 similar movies I could watch. And when I send that off, as you can see, ChatGPT will give me awesome recommendations, some of which I have watched, and yeah, it's in the same style, and they have similar feelings to the movies that I put in suggestions. So this is a pretty awesome way to quickly get recommendations and to find something similar to what you already like. Time-saving method number 18 is to use ChatGPT in order to help you solve common questions or problems that you are dealing with. And when doing this, you'll get a quick explanation and it will make solving the problem a lot more simple because not only does it give you the step-by-step -step process in solving that specific problem that you are dealing with, but you can ask follow-up questions if another problem arises when trying to fix your initial problem. So let's say I'm trying to do something at home. Let's say I am trying to connect my laptop to my TV wirelessly to use the TV as a second screen. What I can ask ChatGPT to do is after listing my problem, I can ask it, can you briefly explain how I can do this? And then ChatGPT will give me a step-by-step -step guide on how to do this and things that need to be in place in order for me to do this. And it gives me a nice step-by-step -step guide on how to connect my computer to my TV wirelessly. And like I said earlier, if there are things in here that do not match your situation, as you can see, it says press win plus A. 
That means that this technique is made for a Windows computer. Let's say I don't have a Windows computer and I'm using a MacBook. I can tell ChatGPT to make this guide MacBook friendly and this will just help me solve my problems in a custom way made for me. And then as you can see, it does a nice job at changing it so that it's talking in the form of a MacBook. So it's much easier to follow along than trying to translate Windows to MacBook. And if you have any other problems, you can just keep on asking follow-up questions. Time-saving use case number 19 is going to be for those of you who have a lot of cleaning to do or who do not like being decluttered because this tip is to use ChatGPT in order to help you declutter and better organize your life or your space. Let's say you work from home and you want to get your office clean. You might be able to ask ChatGPT something like this. I have a very cluttered and disorganized home office. There are piles of paper everywhere, cords all over the floor, and it's impossible to find things when I need them. Can you provide some tips to help me declutter and get organized? ChatGPT is going to efficiently tell us how to get this done, and it's going to give us methods on how to do so. And having this plan right here that ChatGPT is currently generating is going to help us get this done so much quicker. So as you can see, ChatGPT generates us 10 items in order to complete. First, it says start small. Don't try tackling everything at once. Then it tells us to categorize our items. And it tells us we can do so in a couple of steps by generating a pile for office supplies, paperwork, and electronics. Now you can get as in-depth as you want with this. I kept it pretty broad. I just said I have a disorganized home office, but you can say what's on your desk that needs organized. You can be specific about how you want things organized and ChatGPT will compile all that together and make the most efficient way and method in order to clean it. Time-saving use case number 20 is to extract action items from long reports or paragraphs of text. ChatGPT does a wonderful job at this, especially when dealing with clients who want certain things done on a website, for example. Most of the time, they won't send you an actionable to-do list. What they'll do is they'll just send a large paragraph of all of their thoughts, and sometimes in there, they'll put some things they want done, but it's hard as a designer or a worker in order to understand what people exactly want. So pasting that into ChatGPT and telling it to find the action items is a great way to stay organized and it can help you get things done a lot quicker rather than you having to search through there and try to find out what the client wants. Let ChatGPT do the work. Now I have this big report here that I'm obviously not going to read, but it's basically just talking about revenue from a product and how it's decreased and things we need to do in order to increase it within here. But instead of me trying to extract that information and extract those to-do items that I need to complete, what I could tell ChatGPT to do is to please read through this report excerpt and extract the key action items and next steps that are mentioned. Then I could send it off and ChatGPT will do a nice job at listing that out for us. As you can see, it gives us five things that we need to do in nice bolded letters. And after that, it gives us information on how we can complete those tasks as well. And this isn't necessarily what we have to do, but it's a good suggestion and it helps us get our foot in the door when starting new projects or tackling all of these actions. Time-saving technique number 21 is to use ChatGPT in order to think of quick, witty responses for everyday, average, small talk questions. Now, this may seem a little confusing, but if you want to spice up your conversations in a quick way, rather than sitting down, getting creative, and thinking of all these new responses, then what you could do is you could type into ChatGPT the question that you were asked or the statement that you were told, and you can ask it to provide you a witty response. So right now we're in ChatGPT, and this is a question people ask often. Hey, how was your day? Maybe instead of just replying basic and boring like we always do, we want a witty response. So instead of thinking of it ourselves, which can be quite difficult, we can ask ChatGPT to provide a witty response to, hey, how was your day? And maybe we can say, provide me 10 witty responses to how was your day? So we can mix it up every single time. When we send it off, as you can see, it provides us with some pretty funny answers. Now, is this really practical? No, but it can save you time if you're trying to be funny. The first one says, amazing. I got a round trip ticket to the living room and back. It was quite the adventure. Time saving method number 22 is using ChatGPT in order to analyze your spending and finding you ways to save more money. This is a prompt you could put in ChatGPT. I seem to always be tight on money at the end of the month, even though I have a decent income. So this could be any information about how you feel about your current financial situation. 
Then I asked ChatGBT, can you analyze my monthly spending and suggest ways I could save money based on this budget? And then down here, I listed some arbitrary information on my monthly spending budget. So let's say housing costs 1,000, food 600, entertainment 200, shopping 500, utilities 150, and transportation 150. I've asked ChatGPT to analyze my monthly spending and suggest ways I could save money based on this budget. So first it's going to analyze what I've got, and then it's going to give me some ways that I might be able to save money based on my budget. Now when I send this off, ChatGPT will get to work. As you can see, it lists it out. It does a nice analyzation. It says your housing budget seems to be reasonable. So based on the information I gave it, it's giving me suggestions on how I can save money in each of these categories. So this is a great way to kind of lay everything out on the table and just to get personalized recommendations based on your situation and tips for saving money based on your budget. Time-saving method number 23 is to use ChatGPT in order to help you compare products or services prior to 2021 in order to help make a decision when it comes to purchasing. So if you have two services or two products you are looking at, ChatGPT can take in that information and help you come to a decision on what works best for you. So let's say I need a web hosting provider and I want ChatGPT to compare two options for me. What I can tell ChatGPT is I need to select a web hosting provider for my small business website. Can you compare these two options and provide pros and cons to help me decide? And then we have option one, HostGator, $5.95 a month, shared hosting. Option two, Bluehost, $7.99 a month, shared hosting. Then I can send that off and ChatGPT will help me better compare these products. As you can see, it gives me the pros and cons of each and it does all this information on its own. All I needed to tell it was what options I wanted and then it went out and found that information and compared these two for me. So this is definitely going to help me when it comes to making an important decision financially or for whatever else it may be. Time-saving use case number 24 is to tell ChatGPT to provide you with quotes or anecdotes in order to spice up your speeches, presentations, or written content. So if you're doing a speech or a presentation or anything, first you can tell ChatGPT what it's about. For example, I say I'm giving a presentation on pursuing your dreams. Then you can ask it to give you stuff that will help improve your speech or your presentation or your written content or whatever it is. So I say, I need some inspirational quotes and stories to open and close my speech. Can you provide me some suggestions? So now when I send it off, ChatGPT will give me quotes in order to help me open and close my speech. It gives me a nice opening quote here by Steve Jobs. It gives me an opening story. Then it gives me a closing quote and a closing story based on what my speech was about. And my speech was about pursuing your dreams. So it has these big business owners, these quotes, and how they pursued their dreams in order to get to where they are. So I think that this definitely fits the environment when it comes to what my speech was about. So ChatGPT did this all for me. This would have taken quite a long time in order to come up with on my own. So ChatGPT can provide you anecdotes, stories, quotes in order to go along with your presentation, speech, or written content very quickly. ChatGPT time-saving method number 25 is to use ChatGPT in order to get personal fitness advice, generate workout plans, and anything that comes with living a healthy lifestyle. ChatGPT does a wonderful job at taking your metrics and generating a plan for you. Now, when it comes to working out and eating healthy and all of these things, most of the time, what stops you from completing those is friction within your day. For example, you might not start working out on Monday because on Sunday night, you didn't feel like planning and you don't want to go to the gym without a plan. So maybe you decide to just stop working out on Monday because of all the friction that comes with planning on Sunday. So instead of taking hours to complete your workout plans and to come up with an effective schedule for you, Give ChatGPT your metrics and have it generate a plan for you in a matter of seconds. So I gave ChatGPT some information about myself. I am 155 pounds and 12.5% body fat. My goal over the next nine months is to get to 165 pounds and 10% body fat. Then I give it the command in order to help me generate this plan in a very efficient and effective manner. I say generate me a workout split and diet to follow in order to achieve my goals. So instead of spending hours planning out writing things down, keeping the list safe, and making sure I don't forget anything, I can ask ChatGPT and it will cover all the bases. I'm going to send that off. And it gives me the amount of calories I need to eat per day. And then it gives me a basic breakdown of my macros. It gives me a sample meal plan here with a breakfast, a lunch, a snack, an afternoon snack, a dinner, 
an evening snack. And once again, the beautiful thing about doing this in ChatGPT is let's say I don't like cottage cheese, I can tell ChatGPT to replace that with something else and it will do so very quickly. Then it goes into the workout section of my request and it generates me a seven day workout plan with different workouts that I can do for each of those days. It tells me to track my progress and adjust my diet and workout regimen. So it does a very good job at quickly planning this. And if I wanted to, I could say, generate me meal plans for six more days. So I would have seven days worth of workouts and seven days worth of meal plans in a matter of about one to two minutes. Now, if you want to learn ChatGPT in depth, consider purchasing my course using the link in the description or the top pinned comment below. I'll show you the basics, how to create your account. Then we get into beginner's prompting. We'll go from writing your first command all the way to solving complex problems in ChatGPT. You'll get access to an innovative community of ChatGPT learners who are always on learning about ChatGPT, asking questions, and all of that good stuff. So if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more videos like this, drop a like and hit that subscribe button. I would highly appreciate it. Drop a comment below also letting me know what you use ChatGPT in order to save time for. And with that being said, I will see you in the next video.